characters or because I said stop the DMC hate. But honestly, it's just the fact that one video, the DMC hate, I just wanted to tell people just give it a chance before you judge. And on the other video, the top five characters, well, every character I listed in that video, I absolutely hate. And that hasn't changed. But at the same time, I really enjoyed those games like Final Fantasy X, like Devil May Cry, and so on. Anyway. Let's start, and this is this is what I want. I'm going to give you a little background for me before we get into the review. I started with Devil May Cry being my first PS2 game ever. And then I bought Devil May Cry 2 with my own money from the first job I had ever. And, well, that sucked dick. But then I got Devil May Cry 3 a week early from my local game store and played through it like three times before stopping. And then I got Devil May Cry 4 and enjoyed it quite a bit despite some major flaws. So when I first saw DMC, I, I was definitely interested in and a little scared, yet I wanted to try it badly because it's a new take on the series, and I, I thought that the series kind of needed to end. Um, as a huge comic reader, I read through hundreds of different takes on characters, tons of different universes, and while some are definitely horrible, there's some that shine. And the same with TV shows, when they take on the same idea or story, and they do a totally different, um, characters change somewhat, and like something like Sherlock Holmes, the characters definitely don't feel like the old books, so there you go. Um, and then same with books. Um, I've read books that try to capture the same universe and feel, but totally change characters around stuff. And, you know, I've enjoyed some and I've hated some. Either they are good to stand on their own, or they're better sometimes than the original series. So when I finally got my hands on DMC, my mind was already thinking, okay, so this is going to turn out either horrible, maybe decent, maybe good, or just downright amazing. Now, I just wanted to clear that up a bit so you get where I'm coming from in this review. I enjoyed the past series, yet I'm the type of person willing to try something new, and I would like to see a new take on these characters and universe. So I will be judging this game mostly on its own without trying to compare it to the older games so people stop comparing in the review but I mean it won't stop anybody probably but I'm going to try not to compare too much because to me this is a reimagining of the series so anyway without further ado let's get to the game enjoy let's go what's the whitey show whitey show whitey show Dante is the dude who just wants to be left alone. He wants to, you know, drink. He wants to fuck bitches, you know, because he's a young dude who really doesn't give a shit about anything. He knows he's a demon. He knows that he's powerful, and he knows that the world is filled with demons like him. And he honestly doesn't give a shit at all, in the beginning anyway. Soon we meet up with Kat, who helps Dante a little bit learning about Limbo, the world where these demons run around. And soon after, we meet Dante's brother Virgil, and we begin to learn more of the past about Dante and Virgil, because they're brothers, you know? From there, we learn we gotta take down this Demon King, and trust me when I say Dante has some pretty good reasons too. The gameplay is crazy, stylish, action. Just like before, using your sword to dish out some quick and sick looking moves, then using your demon-like weapons like the Fire Fist or Axe, or mixing it with like the Angel Land, and mixing that with guns into the gameplay, and that can be chaotic, and I mean that in a good way. Juggling enemies, dodging, slicing, and blasting away, DMC never stops with the awesome action. So, combining a more serious tone than the previous universe, still mixed with some humor of Dante and this crazy stylish combat, does DMC stand on its own? Is this universe of Devil May Cry worth getting into? Well, now we're gonna find out. Be careful. You can get rough in there. I like it rough. Which final man Alright boys and girls, sit back, here we go. We're gonna start with the good. The story in DMC is mostly entertaining, fun, and has a decent pace. Like previous Devil May Cry's, it's way over the top. One-liners are shot out all the time as well. Dante's past was presented well enough and gives enough motive to actually want to kill these demons. I also really like the fact Dante and Kat's relationship feels real enough. They don't feel like they're forced into being in love. 
You feel like they're becoming friends throughout the story and it's well done. Now I want to deal with them all. You're gonna stick with this to the end, right? Counter. Virgil and Dante's relationship is also brought up kinda well enough. The conclusion is a little bit iffy. But it leaves it open for more uh, games at the end, and you know, I I'm pretty hyped after going through this one. I'm a million years. Graphic-wise, the game is truly badass. The level design, for the most part, is great. From crazy trains flying at you, to sewer-looking levels, to alleyways becoming hell-spawn areas for demons, the game gives you plenty of different places you'll see. I also like Cat's design, I like Dante's design, and most of the demons' designs. I disliked Virgil's new design, but besides that, I honestly really dig the new art style. <laughs> Combat works well. It's by far Ninja Theory's best attempt in combat. While I personally enjoyed Heavenly Swords combat, it was heavy on cinematic approach and not so much on the combos. Whereas Enslaved tried even more of a cinematic approach and even less on the combos, Ninja Theory finally seems to have combined their slick looking cinematic style into the actual gameplay. You still have your sword and gun gameplay, obviously. You can uh, switch between demon weapon and usually do heavier damage to angel weapons which do less damage but are usually quicker and wider spaced. Pulling off basic combos is easy for any person, action fan or not, to get into. However, pulling off the more trickier combos when combining all the different weapons can be both fun and challenging for vet action players. Overall, the gameplay in the fighting section works and is honestly, I'm gonna say it, a lot of fun. Whereas the platforming, while not perfect, is actually done pretty well. Which is a surprise, because action games really never do that for me. You mostly jump around, swing around, pull things forward, and so on. And usually, like I said, I'm not really a huge fan in my action games to have that shit happen. However, due to the awesome level design, it looks badass, and it's actually fun to platform some. It breaks up from the action. I can talk about why some of it's annoying, but honestly, it's not really a big issue. When you die, you come right... Back. So anyway. Keep going. Okay, so that covers the good. Let's talk about the bad. Two things that spring to mind that could have easily been fixed. One is that, and this is almost in the ugly section, is that the baddies who are color coded are just goddamn annoying to fight. And not because they're hard, they're really not at all. But they must be hit with either a demon weapon or an angel weapon. Mattering which one. You can't use both of those weapons on one. Limiting your combo to that one weapon. Thus hurting the overall flow of the quick and fun combat. What the fuck? Who thought of that? Another thing is the boss battles. Honestly, all of them were pretty weak. Let's be honest here. The shit talking one was especially easy. Bob was pretty fun and style wise, but again, so easy. Honestly, I'm gonna just, I gotta say it. I, I had more trouble facing some of the regular enemies than the bosses. Then again, some of the bosses in action games are just downright cheap and fucking annoying, so at least I didn't get that, right? Now, the ugly, which is just one thing, and some people are gonna be like, well, that's your views, and my response says, well, you're watching my fucking review, so no shit. It's gonna be the music. It's, it, it's fucking loud. It's annoying, it's obnoxious, and I can't stand it for the most part. I'm able to just ignore the majority of it, but in some moments, actually, in the cutscenes are fine. However, dubstep or metal or any of the screaming, raging crap, I just I wanna, I wanna flip out and mute it. I, I just, I never liked the music in Devil May Cry series for the most part, but this one is just very annoying for me, and it's really the only ugly feature of the entire game. <laughs> I think you're all mixed up. Switch part, no man, that ain't got time to change your head. Get that side check. Put it in pockets till I get back. Going downtown. And we come 
into the verdict. After all the fighting, after all the bitching, after all the wars the internet started on this game, I finally sat down and just played through DMC, and I'm here to give you my final views on DMC. Is this game bad by any means? Uh, no. Is this game amazing? Top notch? Best action game of the generation? Yes. You're dumb. I'm just fucking with you old fans. No, of course not. However, did I have fun with the new DMC despite liking the old series? Absolutely. New Dante passes in my books. He's a decent character, some fun one-liners, though some cheesy. He's not whiny, he's not over-the-top goofy, and he feels like a regular Joe Schmo. And I, I, I like that. I gotta be honest, I like that human side. I like the combat look and the feel of it. I like that it's powerful, and yet it still looks great. I love the level design, it's truly great to look at. I also enjoyed the pacing. With a game that lasts around 7 to 8 hours for me, skipping most of the challenge rooms and such on, on the first go, I still had a great time playing it. Add in those challenge rooms, add in all the stuff to unlock, and you're going to get a pretty lengthy game in terms of unlockables. Like I said, there's a few things that annoyed me, like the coded, uh, colored enemies, that's just annoying, and like I said, the bosses are just downright piss easy to be honest and the music's fucking terrible but saying that so to all those action fans out there who want their action fix dmc is not a bad choice this looks like a good year for action games just like 2010 2011 i forgot which year that had bayonetta dark size castlevania this year just kind of feels like that great action year again and i'm proud to say and i'm hyped to say that dmc is a kick-ass action game and I hope you enjoy it as much as me. I really do. My rating is buy one cheap. Well, it's not a full-on purchase. It's still very much worth picking up down the line when it gets a little bit cheaper. Like it's first price shop, 40 bucks. Definitely worth it. It's a great game. Enjoy, guys. And Dante, my dude, do you have any last words for our viewers? Fuck you!